So I know a lot of people want to take a look at this setup. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the numbers on this specific Cougar and we're going to match it to the numbers that are on the specific truck. All right, let's look at this really cool trailering sticker they got back here. So gross vehicle weight rating is 11,000. 350 pounds. Gross combined weight rating is a maximum of 27,500 pounds. Payload capacity 3,009 pounds. Conventional trailer capacity 18,500 pounds. Maximum tongue weight 1,850 pounds. Gooseneck trailer weight 18,500 pounds. And maximum tongue weight for that 2,775 pounds. Let's take a look at this trailer here and see specifically if it is paired up well for this truck. Let's look at the sticker on this. So this specific trailer has a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds. It has 4,400 pound axles, runs E-series tires, and a 2,320 pound maximum cargo capacity. If you take the 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating of this trailer, take roughly 25%, you're talking 2,000 to 2,500 pounds worth of weight that could be transferred to the back of this truck. So if you look at the maximum tongue weight for a gooseneck trailer, 2,775 pounds, which means if you run that specific fifth wheel a little bit light, it should give you plenty of extra capacity to haul whatever you need to haul inside of the truck. Just be careful because at 2,775 pounds, maximum tongue weight or maximum pin weight capacity, you are going to be pushing it close even with that half ton trailer. So be very careful. When I say half ton trailer, I mean this half ton rated fifth wheel from Cougar. And this just goes to show you that you really can't pay much attention to when it says half ton on these things. That does not absolutely mean it's half ton capable. Looking at this specific truck, this is a pretty good package in terms of payload capacity for a diesel equipped truck three quarter ton truck it's got a tremendous amount of tow capacity it can easily tow the weight the thing again you have to focus on is how much weight is being transferred from the front of the fifth wheel to the bed of the truck in the case of this specific setup you're gonna have between 2,000 and 2,500 pounds worth of weight transferring over if you can get it closer to that 20% when you're at gross vehicle weight, then you're going to be in really good shape. That's going to leave you 775 pounds worth of cargo inside of the truck for people, passengers, the things that you're going to bring with you. But overall, this is a pretty good setup. Again, this just kind of demonstrates that most half-ton trucks have a cargo capacity of about 1,600 pounds, which means when you hitch something like this up to your traditional crew cab, four-wheel drive, short bed truck, half ton series you're going to go over your cargo capacity and that's something you really have to pay attention to so this is a keystone cougar 25 res series it has two slides on the other side let's take a look inside here it's got the moride step above step system and here you can see it is a rear living room mid kitchen floor plan it has a lot of sleeping space in this floor plan because the dinette is also a bed Coming over here, you can see it has a nice fold-out sleeper sofa. It has good storage, a lot of space here in cabinetry, 4K TV. They've really elevated that refrigerator up to put some ventilation underneath it and some storage on top. And looking over here, it's got a nice kitchen area. One thing I like about this kitchen and living room area is that everybody has access to seeing the TV, and that's really convenient. A lot of windows. And the ceiling height is actually pretty good in here, too. It slopes down pretty aggressively towards the back, but even at the back, you're probably looking upwards of about, I don't know, six foot four. And then up front, you're closer to about eight feet. There's a nice little storage area right here for clothing and your keys. Something that a lot of RVs forget about. Coming back. You can see the single bathroom that's in this unit has a very nice shower stall. Roughly about six foot two, six foot three is going to be the maximum height for the shower stall area. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice area for toiletries, medicine cabinet. Not a tremendous amount of space around the sink. I think they probably could have gone to a slightly smaller sink basin, which would have given you more space around it. Going up front. One thing that's interesting about this unit is the ceiling height is pretty nice. It does slope down towards the front, but you can probably be, like I said, about six foot two and fit reasonably well in here. 
Your wardrobe is on the slide right here. It's a queen size bed with a lot of room on each side and enough room on the end here. And this is a full size queen size bed, so it's not one of those shortened ones. Pretty good amount of storage. Here's your wardrobe. This only has one air conditioning unit in the back of it. There's a spot up here where you could install one if you wanted. This RV also has the in-command system. So this is that intelligent system that can pair with the truck and give you all sorts of access to knowing what's going on from the truck. And that's really cool. And hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate some of that. So yeah, guys, this is a pretty cool little trailer. Again, in my opinion, this is definitely too heavy in terms of pin weight for a half ton truck. There are some half ton trucks out there that would be able to carry this pin weight, such as some of those heavy duty payload package equipped trucks, but there are very few of those available and they're very hard to find. And generally you're not gonna find those on a dealership lot. So most of the trucks you're gonna find on dealership lots are gonna have a far lower number than whatever the max number they advertise. And it's usually gonna be between about 8,800 pounds up to about 10,000 pounds. And the actual payload capacity in the bed is going to be between about 1,400 and 1,900 pounds. So you have to be careful because those are areas you can easily go over your numbers. And from the outside, some other cool things about this fifth wheel is that it is a very, very small light fifth wheel to actually have an auto leveling system. So this specific coach does have an auto leveling system on it. All LED lights in the back. LED lights up top wired for a Furion wireless backup camera has a two inch receiver back here and that is welded to the frame so it'd be interesting to see what the rating is so this is not for towing maximum capacity 300 pounds so this is going to really be designed for like a bicycle rack something that you put back here to hold cargo or a bicycle not to exceed 300 pounds which means the rack itself plus your cargo can't go over 300 has a nice back shower piece here Something else that's nice is that it utilizes the new Road Armor suspension, which is a new upgraded suspension from LCI. It's actually really cool because there's really no failure points in it. There's nothing to shear off or to potentially fail on you. And again, both slides are cable-driven slides. I'm not that worried about this one being a cable-driven slide. I wish this one was a rack and pinion slide or even a Schwintech slide, simply because it is a relatively long slide. Opening up the front storage area. It's definitely got a lot of storage access. Here's your auto leveling. It is solar ready. You can see the aluminum framing. There's no radiant barrier up there. You can see the in-command system over there. Your instructions for your leveling system. And this is the ground control system, not the hydraulic system. So the ground control is electric. Here's your power disconnect. I like the fact that they put it in this box. And your wet bay. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.